Hey guys, do Legit City here. Today we're going to be talking about some of the mechanics of a critter in the game of Oxygen Not Included. Today we're going to be talking about Pips. This little guy right here has a very cool attribute and is that they will find seeds and naturally plant them into the natural tiles. There are other characteristics of this cute little guy. We're not going to be talking about the fact that he walks along the side of the walls. We're not going to talk about how he digs through storage bins, looking for seeds like a dog digging through a trash can for food. And because of such, we're going to be focusing on the planting mechanics. To get it started, one of the first checks the Pip checks for is if there's a seed nearby. If there's a seed nearby and there's natural tiles and he's able to actually navigate from the seed to the natural tiles, he's going to want to plant seeds. This little guy at 69 age is going to be a nice little Pip. Not only does he check for the seed, he actually checks for the natural tiles hardness value. So not only do the tiles have to be natural, meaning that it has to be there naturally, you did not build it, and it is not a buildable tile. The hardness value you're looking for is a value right here under 150. The things that are above that or at the 150 value are going to be tiles like Abyssalite. This has a hardness value of 150. The other notable ones are going to be tiles known as Diamond, Neutronium, and Obsidian. All of these are naturally occurring in the asteroids. And a lot of the times, if you guys are not sure, you could click on the natural tile, look at the information tab, and it will give you a hardness value. If it does not give you a hardness value, chances are it's a buildable tile or a Gravidos tile, which in that case is also man-made, and pips cannot plant in that. The next thing the pips actually checks for is going to be the plant statistics. There's going to be something called gas pressure. Over here, a lot of plants, not just the mealwood, have a minimum gas pressure level. And if the gas pressure is actually low enough that you would not be able to grow a plant, the pips naturally would not plant the plant there in that same instance. So if you guys are trying to use the pip to plant some tiles, check the gas pressure and if the gas pressure is okay sometimes you may have a duplicate breathe out a little bit of co2 and it's floating along the bottom causing your pips to not be able to plant any of the plants so check for that another thing that the pips check for is temperature of the environment relative to the seed they're planting if the area is too hot or too cold i believe it is plus minus 50 degrees celsius the pips will refuse to plant the seed until it gets cold enough not only that, there are other things that will get into the pip's way, and that is if there is something on top of the natural tile stopping them from being able to plant the plant. Any of the buildings, tiles, ladders built on top of the tile where the pips want to plant their seed will force them to not be able to plant. As such, make sure you guys are not using a mod that allows your duplicates to build ladders behind plants as in the game you cannot and if you do want to use the ladders as a way of controlling how the pips plant that may cause the ladders to be insufficient as they do not block the plants from growing with the mod enabled so modded players watch out for that now of course the last mechanic pips check for is something called proximity and plant count pips will not plant anything that's if the proximity around the tile they want to plant the seed on has three or more plants in the vicinity. Now let's go over the pip planting mechanics on the proximity. We're going to be checking with the bottom tile right here. And let's argue that we want to plant a plant right here. The check for the pip is going to be five tiles up, five tiles to the right, six tiles to the left, and six tiles below. This actually creates a box. This box is going to be the proximity that I'm talking about that the pip checks for when they're looking to plant. This box over here, if they were to choose to plant the plant on this tile, there cannot be three or more plants in this box if you want the pip to be able to plant on this tile. And this includes decor plants, wild plants, domesticated plants, plant on farm tiles. They count every type of plant and because of such you guys have to be able to plant in a specific pattern if you guys want to maximize now after we go over the proximity we're going to be going over the patterns as a such we're going to be setting up the typical setup and this is going to be the first design 
you guys could easily keep a strip of natural tiles and then do a pattern that's every other tile will be buildable or you could keep it natural if you guys want and by placing ladders on top like this you could control how the pit plants now given the pattern we just talked about how it's vertically five and to the right five versus the south and left being six tiles this means that you always start on the topmost level of your build and of course you always go right to left because of that the spacing for the setups is going to be as such if you have a floor at the bottom make sure you have four tiles range before the next set of tiles this actively means five tile range and the plant is going to be planted on top so they will not be able to check for the plant that's planted on top of course if you guys are using plants that grow upside down we'll get to that later but assuming that you're planting a plant that grows up vertically this is going to be the pattern you guys want to choose. Starting from the top, you go right to left. And then after you do the top row, you could do, do the second row. Very easily, you could see that we could put a critter drop off, a bin with seeds, and then have the pip plant on this tile. Deconstruct this ladder, the pip will plant on this tile, and so forth. After doing the top row, you would do the second row. So of course, again, right to left, top to bottom and four space gap between the rooms. The other pattern is gonna be as such, it's gonna be three tiles natural, three tiles regular tiles, and three tiles natural again. Of course, again, you wanna line up the tile spacing. And if a pip were to plan on this, same thing, right to left and then top to bottom. Of course, this is the same spacing of four tiles. And to showcase it, if I were to have plants already on top right here, one, two, three, four, five, none of the plants planted on top are going to matter. And if we check on this tile, one, two, three, four, five, there's going to be two plants. So I'm going to be able to plant this one. Once I move to this tile, one, two, three, four, five, it's plant one, plant two. So they're going to be able to plant plant three. And once I get to here, it's going to check for these five right here and that's going to be only two plants again now if you guys wanted to plant some of the plants that hang upside down the pattern actually changes because the plants are going to be hanging upside down you're actually going to want to start from the bottom row first and then work your way up the pattern is still going to be right to left however one thing does change and that's going to be spacing instead of four tiles gap right here you're going to need five which means that the pattern we use for plants that grow up vertically is going to be more compact than the ones that grow upside down because the plants that grow upside down kind of mess with the proximity rules of the pip we have to accommodate by that by give them an extra layer of space so this four layer should become five if you want to grow wild plants of pinch of pepper nuts stash of salt vines and anything that hangs upside down that has been the pip planting mechanics if you guys have any questions about the pips how they plant and what they do those are the rule sets of everything they check for and of course guys hope that helps you guys out with your wild planting and pip planting journey guys leave a comment down below if you guys have questions hope you guys enjoyed today's video and of course guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys